gets buried, damaged uh, deep in their psyches, and it comes out in many ways in the songs. Hang your head, Tom Dooley. Oh, it's hang your head and cry. Kill little Laurie Foster, poor boy, you're bound to die. I met her on the mountain, there I took her life. Met her on the hillside, and I stabbed her with my knife. So tang hit Tom Dooley. This is about as close as one ever gets to the real source of things. This is the... Tom Dooley, sung by the son of the man who actually gave it to the world. This is Frank Prophet Jr., who lives uh, in the high mountains near Boone, North Carolina. This time and it was his father, Frank Prophet, who sang it for my friends, the Warners, when they came down into the mountains ballad hunting back in 1938. I learned it from the Warners, and... I sang it all over the country and on my radio shows, and it got to be known that way, and then sometime later on, the Kingston Trio picked it up, and it's now a world song. This time tomorrow, reckon where I'll be, in a lonesome valley, hanging on a white oak tree. This is a story from... Uh, the day of Tom Dula's uh, execution, May 2nd, 1868. Now, um, the song uh, is a record of a true event. Um, Tom Dula was a wild young buck, veteran of the uh, Civil War. He was going with uh, two or three women at the same time, and uh, one of them had said, uh, Laura Foster gave him syphilis and he, which he inadvertently passed on to another of the women named Ann Melton, whom he was much closer to. And she, when she found that out, she insisted that they murder Laura Foster in vengeance. Hang your head, Tom Dooley, oh, hang your head and cry. Hang your head, Tom Dooley, poor boy, you're bound to die. He took it, he's done it himself, but now according to what I hear the kid, he didn't, the other woman's went done it. You know, Tom Dooley really didn't kill her, but he took it, Ralph on himself, like my grandpa and my grandma always told us. Was he going with both of them yeah, and uh, had them both, both in front? Yeah, he's going both at the same time. Yeah. I mean, he was with them both at different times. He uh, had them both pregnant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him and Ann Melton killed her. Yeah, you know, that's what I heard. Ann Melton, Melton. Ann Melton was married, already married. Yeah, he's already James married. James Melton. Yeah. She was a foster. I think she's Laura's first cousin. Yeah. That's she, what we heard from his kids, you know, growing yeah. up. You see the women yeah, framed. I don't think <laughs> none of them out there had the morals of an alley cat. <laughs> there are very little morals in, in any of them and the restraint with any of the... Uh, but I guess uh, I'd say Frank's got it about, about <laughs> <laughs> that involved, but it's different stories of it, you know. Yeah.